All right, guys, we got another saw restoration video. This one's not going to require too much work because last year I jointed the teeth and I sharpened it, and it still is pretty sharp because I haven't really used it. But the teeth are a little bit rusted, so we are going to sharpen that up a little bit. But what we need to do first is just restore the blade of the saw. If you look really close, it's really dirty. And the handle needs a little bit of work. Same with the pins. So I'm just going to start out with, let's see what this is, a 150 crit, and there's no um, etching, so I'm not too worried about that being ruined. Okay, so if you guys look really close, right here on the blade, the sandpaper doesn't want to really push through it because it has a lot of junk on it, a lot of oil and stuff. So we're going to come with our chisel and we're just going to scrape all of that off. Once that's done, just wipe it off a little bit and then try your sandpaper. And if you guys can hear it, it's a lot better. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and I did both sides with the 150 grip and I'm going to use new sandpaper next because the sandpaper I have is really worn out and this is 220 grit sandpaper and we're only going to use a little section of it. So. But before we do a small little section, we're going to get a rag and some rubbing alcohol and just pour it on top because even if we clean it like that, there's still a lot of rust on it. And with the finer stuff, it just clogs it up really quick. 
So just go over it. And once you've done that, don't flip it over because it'll just get this side dirty again. So we'll grab an old knife. And I'm not worried about this knife getting dull. It's a junk knife, China. So just cut a section you want, however big you want it. to the side. Now we'll use the 220 grit. You want to get right up to the edge of the teeth but not hitting the teeth because they're already set and we don't want to have to reset them. Okay, so once that is done, because I've used this bench for metal before, I'm going to take an old rag and lay it down, and I'll set the saw on top of it so all my work doesn't be, it isn't destroyed. So, just like that doesn't have to be too nice. And we'll go back to our 220 grit. Do the same on this side. Back to this side. Take our rag again. Use this. Dump some on. And clean it. Let it dry for a second, and we're going to switch to 400 grit. There we go. Okay, and I'll do the other side by myself, just so you guys don't have to sit through it. So now that we've done both sides, it looks really nice. And there's a spider. There we go. Um, a lot of people don't clean the spine of the saw or anything. Like all, any of the ends. So it doesn't need to be anything too high. We'll take the 220 and just carefully remove it. Now I'll bring it a little bit closer.
then next we'll resharpen the teeth a little bit. 